Do you teach Indigenous Australian students or other students of different cultural backgrounds? And are you looking for ways to connect their experience with the mathematics that they learn? G'day, I'm Dr. Peter Price of Professor Pete's Classroom. Welcome to Mathematics in the News for another week. The article we're looking at this week comes from our national broadcast to the ABC. It's this one and it's entitled Maths, Story and Dance, and an Indigenous Approach to Teaching. This article describes the results of a new approach to teaching Indigenous students in Australia um, by one Dr. Christopher Matthews of Griffith University, who's one of the few Indigenous Australians with a PhD in maths. And he, realising that Indigenous students are often two years behind white kids, in their maths results was looking for a new way to approach the teaching of mathematics and came up with this method that incorporates storytelling and dance as a way of connecting with their um, cultural backgrounds and the things that are important, the way that their culture expresses ideas and truths and so on, um, and they're getting good results. So there's some nice pictures here of students involved in dancing and telling stories and with their faces painted and so on and they're connecting maths with stories about kangaroos and brolgas and things that are important to them. My only caution here would be to make sure if I was a teacher adopting this approach that it didn't somehow become maths light where the maths involved was actually quite uh, low level and we spend more time on storytelling and dance than we do on doing math. So um, it's a great way to make those connections but at some point we have to get down to deeper levels of maths and more difficult maths. Um, at the bottom of the article, there's a link to a YouTube video presented by uh, Professor Tom Cooper of the Yumi Deadly Centre at QUT in Brisbane. QUT happens to be the university where I studied my undergrad and postgrad studies, and I studied under Professor Cooper when I was there in my re most recent experience. In the video, he describes an approach that his centre has developed. The centre exists to investigate ways of teaching Indigenous kids. So it's doing really important work um, for these uh, underprivileged students in Australia. And they use this acronym, which um, I believe is useful not just for Indigenous students, but will help um, find ways to connect with students of all sorts of backgrounds, because we have a lot of students from various countries and cultures around the world. So the first R of this acronym RAMRA stands for reality and this is where we make the connection with the students current experience, their background, their culture, what's important to them and their families and their um, cultural groups um, rather than with a textbook, rather than with some European example, some white Australian example or whatever fits your uh, local culture. Then we use a process of abstraction. So this is where we move beyond just looking at the students' reality and their culture. But um, connecting this with the maths, we use the uh, process of abstraction to find the mathematics in the reality, connect that. The M, of course, stands for mathematics or maths. And then after that, we then use a most important step of reflection and reflect on the mathematics and how well that enabled us to understand and to use the uh, local reality and what it was that we were trying to describe with the maths and so of course it becomes a cycle. I think this is a really useful approach to teaching mathematics to, as I said, any student from any background that we find ways to connect their reality with the mathematics that we teach and use this um, process of abstraction and reflection to uh, connect those two together. As I asked at the beginning of the video, do you teach Indigenous students or do you have students from a variety of other backgrounds? It's my experience that teachers nowadays often have children from backgrounds other than the teacher's own cultural background. I come from England. Uh, I found myself teaching in far northwest Queensland where I could have, a, could have done with this approach if it had been around in those days uh, to teach a class full of Indigenous students. I've recently been teaching students from Myanmar and Samoa and Tonga and New Zealand and England and Germany and you know places all around the world. I suspect that's your experience also. This approach would work, I believe, to uh, connect the mathematics that students have to learn with the reality of their, their own experience and background. 
So uh, if you've got any comments about that, if you've got any insights on how to teach mathematics to students from non-standard, non-mainstream backgrounds, then please leave it below the video um, and share that with other teachers. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, if this is the first time you've seen any of my videos, then I invite you to subscribe to the channel. There's a button below the video. There's one on the screen right now um, that you can uh, get notification when new videos come out. YouTube will simply send you an email every so often about new videos. And if you'd like to see other videos in the Math in the News series, there's plenty more. There's uh, another three over here next to this one that you can click on. That's it from me for now. Remember that um, although to the world you may be just a teacher, to your students you're a real hero. Um, and that's why we support you and think the world of you. Thanks for watching and I look forward to talking to you again very soon.